Hi and welcome to my channel. So this is a video for Hauling Fell or Hailing Fell, however you pronounce it. I've done this peak twice in two weeks and what I'm doing is I'm combining the two video footages together. So I've got this one which is a clear daylight shot but as you can see it's also raining as well. Now the second time I did this peak it was quite dark and I got there for sunrise but the views from the summit are incredible. So I'm using the daylight footage to go up and then I'm using the sunrise footage for the shots that you can get from the summit and on the way down as well. As you can see from the car park at the bottom where we started, there's a path that goes straight up and you follow that path and it's a main path that you can keep following and it will eventually bring you to this wall on your left hand side. Just keep going. What you will see on your way up however is some small kerns and some little turn offs to your right. Now there is nothing wrong with following these little paths because they do eventually all take you to the summit but this is your more direct route that I'm taking here and showing you. And I got up and down within 20 to 25 minutes as well. On a dry day it's quite a pleasurable walk up but on the way up and on the way down if it's raining or it's wet it can be quite tricky. As you can see there's one of them paths just to your right hand side there but just keep following this path up and it'll bring you in between these two mounds here and just keep going. As you get between the two mounds the path takes a sharpish right turn whilst heading upwards. On your way up you will notice these little footholds that there are at the side of the path or on the path. They are quite useful, especially when the ground is wet. We're almost at the summit now, as you can see just ahead, that's the summit cairn. And it's a high summit cairn as well, it's standing at about 11 to 12 feet. Just about to switch to the sunrise footage now. So here we are now approaching the summit cairn. It stands at 388 meters, which is 1,272 feet. from the summit are absolutely amazing and it's surprising how little of an effort you need to give for such amazing views this is me just doing the 360 degree view that i do on every video decided to take the same route back down but there are a lot of other routes down as well for anyone who fancies starting the Wainwrights this would probably be a great one to start off with it shows them incredible views and it's a great peak for a beginner beautiful sunrise about to happen there over Bonscale Pike on Lord Pike Hill there's a couple more peaks you can do from here when you get back into martindale you can carry on past the church and go up steel knots or you can make your way down into the valley and go up bedderfell by next week i will have released another video and it will be me going from the martindale church up to steel knots so you can see the route that i take in fact, I'll even be releasing a video that does Steel Knots, does Weather Hill, it does Lord Pot Hill, Bonscale Pike and Arthur's Pike as a loop back to Martindale. And it works out approximately 10 miles. So 
with the ground being dry and relatively hard, it was quite easy to get up and down this fell and I got up and down within 20 to 25 minutes. And that also included doing a summit 360 as well. So we're almost back at the church next to the car park where we set off and all I've done is shown you the most well-known path up hailing hauling fell. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my video.